framing systems double bottom construction stem and stern construction. Ship construction. Framing systems. Double bottom construction. Stem and stern construction. Transverse framing. Many, closely spaced frames. Deck beams tie up ends of frames. Fewer, deeper and more widely spaced longitudinals. Support inner bottom and give longitudinal strength. Longitudinals. Support in decks are called. Deck, girders. Additional decks, supported by. Beams and girders, increase. Transverse and longitudinal strength. Transverse bulkheads provide watertight boundaries, contribute significantly to transverse strength, and provide vertical support for decks. Transverse framing, many, closely spaced frames advantages. Open, nearly rectangular interior space. Ideal for stowing large, irregular, brake bulk items, or vehicles, roros. Disadvantages. Vertical support for decks requires more closely spaced transverse bulkheads, hence smaller compartments, or pillars, stanchions, or longitudinal bulkheads. Longitudinal framing. Deep, web. Transverse frames. Few and widely spaced. Smaller, closely spaced longitudinals support shell plating. Side shell longitudinals call stringers. Inner bottom gives. Additional longitudinal and. Transverse strength. Girders in high stress areas. Double bottom spaces and. Under main deck. Longitudinal framing. Deep, web. Transverse frames. Advantages. Widely spaced transverse bulkheads allow for large, i.e., long, continuous cargo spaces, tanks. Ideal for stowing liquids, reduced free surface effects. Disadvantages. No large, open interior spaces. Difficult to load or unload brake bulk items. Difficult to stow large, irregular shaped items. Framing systems. Typically. Most ships have some combination of transverse and longitudinal framing. LL. TT. Bulkhead stiffeners. Upper tween deck. Lower tween deck. Stringer. Lower, hold. Web frame. Typical. Transverse. Frames. Section view. Floor. C. L. Plan view. C. L. Double bottom details. Rider. Plate. Inner bottom. Tank top. Air. Hole. Margin. Plate. Frame. Bilge. Bilge. Well. Center. Vertical keel. Limber. Hole. Longitudinal. Solid floor. Keel. Plate. Outer. Bottom. Lightning. Hole. Reverse frame. Open floor. Frame. Longitudinal. Strut. Shell plating details. Longitudinal rows of plating are called strakes. The keel plates form the keel strake. The strakes outboard, P and S, of the keel are the A strakes or garboard strakes. Strakes are consecutively lettered moving outboard and up the side shell. G. Strake. F. Strake. Bilge strake. B. Strake. C. Strake. D. Strake. E. Strake. Keel. Strake. Garboard strake. A strake. Shell plating details. Longitudinal rows of plating are called strakes. Welded horizontal joints between strakes are called seams. Welded vertical joints between plates in a given strake are called butts. 
strakes that do not run the entire ship length, as the hull surface area decreases at the ends, are drop strakes. K strake shear strake. J strake through. H strake drop. G strake. Bilge, F, strake. Strakes running stem to stern are called through strakes. An oversized plate merging a drop and through strake is a steeler plate. The strake at the deck edge is the shear strake and is heavier than typical side shell plating. Openings in shell plating must have rounded corners. Openings in shell plating must have rounded corners be reinforced to make up for missing material. And on weather deck, combings, portholes, hatch openings below decks. Watertight doors, stem construction decks forward wrapper collision plate stem bulkhead. Stringers. Vertical. Stem post. Rider plate. Breast. Hooks. Deep. Floors. CV keel. Keel plate.